Hey everyone, Stephen Holmes here. Just doing a, um, I guess, uh, initial play and review of Sorts of Streets of Rage 4. So, um, anyone who I guess is into retro gaming would have heard of Streets of Rage 4. It's a sequel um, put together by Lizard Cube, who previously did the remake of Wonderboy uh, Monster Trap. Monster Trap, I think it's called Monster Trap. And, um, yeah, and they've teamed together with uh, Yuzo Koshiro and some of the creative team who are behind the original Streets of Rage games to produce um, a, a sequel, Streets of Rage 4, to obviously Streets of Rage 3, 2 and 1 back on the Mega Drive. So, um, I haven't played the game yet. Um, I've loaded it, uh, I've watched the intro and I've set up my controller only, but I haven't tried the controller in game, so hopefully that works. I don't have to have you guys watch me try to set that up, but the controller seems to work. So I'm theoretically all good to go um, and experience a game uh, with you guys for the first time. So I guess uh, having a quick look at the setup. So I've got um, my little um, my tripod here, so I'm trying to move the camera around awkwardly. But I've got my little uh, HP laptop there and it's got all manner of USB-C garble coming out of it. Um, because Laptops don't actually have any ports of their own anymore. Um, and if I can get it on screen, I've got my brand new, pretty much, um, Hori Hayabusa arcade stick. If that comes up there on the screen for you. Um, I bought this for one day when I might be able to enjoy some games um, on a PC. And um, this is it. This is the, the uh, inaugural break out of the joystick as well, so happy about that. Um, I think it's got uh, some nice components inside and should play like an arcade stick. So um, that's my setup for Streets Rage 4. So I hope this comes up all right for you guys. I'll get a little bit more square onto the screen there without disrupting my view. And uh, I'm just wearing a lapel mic. So when the game does start up, hopefully you can still hear me. So load him up. <clears throat> and uh, capture my impressions, see ya. Sorry about the camera work guys, just trying to get this set up so I can still have the lapel mic next to me while playing the game. Okay, here we are. Streets of Rage 4. I've got to say, so I, as I mentioned, I have um, I have loaded the intro here and I've gone through to the settings to set up my controller. First impressions of the music, and I know music is a big part of Streets of Rage. Um, super impressed with this intro theme. I think it does a perfect job of modernising, uh, but capturing Streets of Rage. So, um, you know, obviously we had 16-bit sort of Yamaha FM um, synth music back in the day. Um, yeah, this is just brought forward. It's got a little bit of orchestral elements over the top of the strings. Love it. Let's see how we go. So, story mode, stage select, arcade. I've never been an arcade person. I'll try arcade mode. I don't know what the difference are. So I haven't watched any reviews of this yet. Um, I've seen obviously some of the teaser stuff and the trailers, uh, but yeah, I don't really know what to expect and that's how I'm going to approach it. Complete 
story mode to unlock. Okay, so story mode it is. Uh, is he normal hard? Let's go for normal. Okay, so it looks like we've got four characters. Yeah, so Axel Blaze, Cherry, and Floyd. So I've got Axel, it's always probably an Axel player. Back in the play. Axel and Max more than anything. I like that backdrop, it's a nice kick back to the first fruits of rage. Now I know there's a lot of um, opinion out there about the graphic style and the game being compared to a flash game. Um, and it's yeah, I can, I can certainly see that. Um, I think if Flash Games did anything, they made um, that sort of comic style, heavy line art graphics um, associated to the era of Flash Gaming. Um, and this game does use that. I guess from there though, my comments would be, even compared to Flash Games, I think the, the art in this game, what I've seen so far, is really polished and really well put together beyond that of most Flash Games. But secondly, and I think this is probably more the defining point, the animation of this game is amazing, it sets it apart. Uh, flash games tend to just have solid objects that are just hinged and pivoted around, but this is a completely drawn sprite in 2D. Now the biggest thing holding it back is the fact that it's running at high definition. So, yeah, I don't know what people think of the, um, the Street Fighter remake that they did. I think that was on the Switch and that was in Full HD. Um, does that look like a Flash game because they've redrawn the sprites instead of anime style? Um, not sure, but yeah, there's some great, um, some great background elements. Okay, so can I do a run? Ah, oh, there's no run. Okay, I thought that would keep the run from Street Fighter Rage 3. Okay, so the separate pickup button I noticed when I was configuring the drums. That was satisfying. Um, if I were to criticise Streets of Rage as anything, 
initial when I first started playing in the later prologue. You just almost felt to me a little stiff. Your character moves probably slightly slower than you would hope. And, um, and you know, when you throw that punch, it really sort of glues to the ground a bit during it. Um, while most of those statements hold up true for most fighting games and beat em ups, um, um, I felt Final Fight had a little bit more fluidity, fluidity to, I don't know, to that basic attack. Um, the standard punch and the basic attack in Final Fight is not a fan of that game. Charge up that attack. But 
one. I noticed there. Stage one. Um, yes, um, I don't plan to have any spoilers in this, and um, I don't know how far into the game I'll play. I don't even know how many stages the game has. But um, yeah, I don't envisage I'm going to play all the way through the game, or even if I can make it all the way through, I don't know how it continues to the works in this. So we've got time bonuses. Yeah, oh, wait, you can change players at the end of the game.
true stage, isn't it? This is very uh, Manhattan looking. Retry options, keyboard, audio, what have we got for audio? Oh yeah, so that's where you can switch the, let's just bang that on for a second. Video, screen shake. Okay. Jesus. Um, full screen of course, button icons. Fair enough. I'm not using either, so that makes no sense, but we'll put that on our next box. Advanced options. Hang on. Okay, we have some low latency over performance. Let's tick that box. Oh, that's a bit weird. Oh, wow. Okay. You can kind of pixelate it if you want. Wow. Cool option to have, I guess. Wow. <laughs> Let's give 40% a go, that kind of puts it a bit um, pixely looking. So I've got mine on Ultra, um, so everything pretty much turned on, except for post effect. What is post effect? Blame Retro. Retro CRT. Okay, let's get this back on 100%. I don't know if I call that retro CRT. Okay, so there's your, <laughs> that's kind of funny, especially on a big LCD TV. Yeah, I'll play that for a moment or two, but I can't say I'm a fan at this stage. filter. Yep. Um, let's have a look at something else in there I'm going to leave. And I'm just going to get back to the current soundtrack. Thank you, bye. Oh, 
Like I said at the beginning though, I've still got a little bit of that stiffness. 